back to my channel. If you're new here, hello, my name is Stephanie Carollo and welcome to my channel. Today I'm going to be sharing with you guys some of my current favorites. I love current favorites videos. I find some products that I like want to get from other people's current favorites videos. So I thought today I would share with you guys some of my favorites that I've been loving for a while. I don't always do monthly favorites so I think current favorites are more of my favorite thing to do because I kind of like compile a few months together of all my favorites and I share with you guys what I've been loving. So I wrote down a list of all the things that I've been loving lately and I broke it up into makeup, skincare, fashion, music, movies, all that kind of stuff like that. And yeah, so without further ado, I think this video is going to be kind of long because I have quite a few things to show you guys. So without further ado, let's get into all of my current favorites. Down below in the description box, I am going to list and link every single thing that I mentioned in this video. So it will be all down below in case you guys want to shop any of these items that I mentioned in this video. Okay, so starting off with hair, I only have one item that I want to talk about and that is this Morocco oil Moroccan treatment. It's for all hair types. It comes in this little tiny bottle. It is by, I just think Moroccan oil is the brand. I got this in a pinch me um, box. You guys, I've heard me talk about pinch me before. Um, you kind of go on there and you claim free samples every t first Tuesday of the month. So um, I claimed this in one of my samples and I've actually been really liking it. It helps hydrate my hair because my ends are really dry since they are bleached from getting balayage. So I really like this product and it definitely does a good job of moisturizing and hydrating my hair and it smells really good. It has a nice scent to it and I don't know, I kind of find it relaxing. It's just a really nice treatment hair oil for if you have dry or coarse textured hair. So moving on to skincare and then we're gonna go to makeup. So for my skincare, I've been using these products for quite some time. These are by the brand Skin Lab. It is the Lift and Firm Treatment Serum. Hydrolyzes collagen and elastane hydrate to firm and tone. It comes in this little bottle like this and I'll show you guys the packaging because I actually still have it. It comes in a packaging that looks like this. And I got this actually at TJ Maxx for um, Marshalls. This one I got at Marshalls, but I got another one at TJ Maxx for $6.99. So whenever I see these at TJ Maxx and Marshalls, I always make sure to pick them up. This just really helps hydrate your skin. If you have really dry skin like I do, this really helps kind of tone and tighten your skin as well as hydrating it. So I really like this serum. And I apply this morning and night as directed. And I also like this because it kind of smooths out my skin. And you can also apply this to your neck because we can't forget about our neck when we are are like a start aging our neck is really important as well it's not just our face so I really like that because you can use that and I've already used one whole bottle up of this one this is my second one and I have yet to go to Marshall's or TJ Maxx to look to see if they have it I just pick one up every time I see one that way I don't have to worry about if I'm gonna run out of one so I really like this serum it's my favorite one and it's kind of the only one I use I'm not really big into skincare but I've been trying to get into skincare a little bit more so if you guys have some skincare favorites leave them down below for me I'd love to hear them so this next one that I have here is the Skin Lab Instant Radiant Booster. It instantly primes, brightens, smooths, and moisturizes your skin. So as you guys can see, I've used quite a bit in this. Um, so this one is like a daily moisturizer and it does prime. What I like about this is that it adds an instant glow to your skin and it really helps your foundation to kind of make your skin look like you're glowing from within. And I really like that because my skin is so dry and this actually really, really helps give that kind of luminous, glowy, dewy look from within, which I really like and always want to achieve, even if I put on 20 pounds of highlight because you guys know I love my highlight. But this stuff primes very well. I've used foundations that I love. I'm actually going to talk about one today. I've used foundations, specifically matte foundations, and this helps kind of stay, make my foundation look more luminous and not so flat matte. So I really like that, um, especially when I have dry skin and I want to use a matte foundation. This really helps. And I really recommend this product. Again, it's like $6.99 and it's super inexpensive. So every time I see one, I just pick one up at TJ Maxx or Marshalls. The last skincare thing I want to talk about is this Formula 1006. I don't know if that's the name. I think that's the name of the brand. This is Draw It All Out Skin Top Detoxing. This is the Draw It All Out Skin Detoxing Peel, Charcoal, and Plum like face mask. And this one actually peels off, so it's a dark charcoal mask, and you put on a thin layer and then you peel off. This helps get rid of all of your blackheads, your pores. It's kind of like almost, I don't, I've never used Glam Glow before, so I can't really say it's a dupe because I don't have any Glam Glow products. But this is so inexpensive. I believe it's $6.99, and it really helps draw out some of your pores. Pores 
my pores are always clogged. I just have that just, I don't know, it's just in my genetics. I don't know what it is. I just get where my pores are so clogged. So I make sure to do this once, one to two times a week just to help draw out the pores and clean them out and just kind of refresh and open up my skin. And I really like this. And I also use one of their face washes as well. I really like this brand and they have a lot of affordable other skincare type of face washes and masks that you guys can find and you can get this at Ulta and it's always inexpensive um, so I love this stuff and I definitely recommend it if you guys have some stubborn pores that just will not unclog. So next we're going to be talking about makeup and I only have a few items to share with you guys that I've been really really loving. So the first thing I'm going to be talking about is chapstick. It is coming into the winter months and I always have really dry lips and I always have to make sure that I'm hydrating my lips. So this is the chapstick Total Hydration Smooth Oasis 3-in-1 Lip Care. This is my favorite chapstick. I will not use anything else. This really hydrates my lips. Whenever I have chapped lips, I put this on and instantly like within hours my lips feel so much better. So if you are looking for a chapstick and you have really dry 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 lips or you just chap a lot easily in the winter definitely check out the chapstick brand total hydration my favorite one I swear by it I have like a million of these one at my desk at work one here one in my purse I have to have chapstick with me at all times so the next product I'm going to be talking about is a foundation this is the covergirl true blend matte made foundation I have been using this now for about almost a month and I love it this is my really light shade in L20 um, this is like a 12 hour foundation it goes on really really nice blends seamlessly it's gorgeous it makes the skin look so naturally glowy I just love it this makes my skin look so good I have it on today and I am absolutely obsessed with this foundation it doesn't transfer I know the commercials say that it like doesn't transfer it transfers slightly um, but nothing where I'm just like it's coming off like I've had that Maybelline 20, 24 hour wear or 12 hour wear foundation that seems to kind of rub off a lot of the times. This one doesn't. Like if I touch my face, I don't feel like it's sliding off of me. Like I feel like it's set on my skin. And it just makes my skin look better. So it's basically like your skin but better. And it's matte. And I really like that. Even though I have dry skin, I love using matte foundations. Because sometimes I don't want a glowy, you know, glazed donut look in the middle of winter. I want to be like nice and matte, smoky eye, dark lips, you know. I want that vampy vibe, but I want like a f matte base you know so I really like this foundation and if you haven't tried it I definitely recommend it the shade range is great and the price is super great as well definitely one drugstore foundation I would definitely check out okay so the next makeup product that I want to talk about is nude lips and I've been wearing kind of the same kind of nude lip combo like I have on today over and over again so if you guys ever see me wearing a nude lip this is most likely the nude lip that I'm wearing so I always use the NYX um, soft spoken lip liner or the NYX mauve lip liner I kind of switch off between those two and these are my favorite favorite lip liners I love NYX and I switch off between two liquid lipsticks so I usually use the Anastasia liquid lipstick in stripped it is my favorite color it's just a nice light nude and I actually got this at TJ Maxx for $6.99 so definitely hit up TJ Maxx you can find some really good things there I love this Anastasia liquid lipstick it is the best nude ever and the other one I've been using is the Dose of Colors in Nude Chica. I love this and it just is like kind of like a darker nude. So that's more of like a really light nude which I have on today. And this is more of a darker nude. And I really like these two liquid lipsticks. They're my favorite to use. I want to add a gloss over them. I will use either my NYX Butter Gloss in Tiramisu. Or I will use my NYX Butter Gloss in Tres Leches. And if I really want to spice up my nude lip, I will use um, Kali Cosmetics uh, Coco K Lip Gloss. And those are my favorite. That's the nude pack that I stick to. I always use it. It's always in my purse. It is my go-to when I'm on the run and want a nice nude lip. I can always count on these products to give me the best nude lip. And like I said, I will link all of these things down below in case you guys need or want any of these items. <laughs> My friend just sent me this text message of a meme and it's like Colton from The Bachelor and it says, who the hell is this guy? Where's Jason? And it's like this dog mean mugging Colton. I hope you guys can see that. <laughs> That's funny. Okay, moving on to the fashion part of my current favorites. I have a few things I want to share with you guys, things that I've been loving and obsessing over lately. So first of all, I've been obsessed with Target lately. Target has been killing the game in the clothing section, the shoes, the purse, like literally everything. I'm obsessed with their shoes and I'm obsessed with their clothes. I am becoming a Target fiend. I don't know how to control myself. 
I might need to like get some help for my Target addiction and it's becoming insane. I'm going to go to Target after I'm filming today because I need to go to Target. You know, you just sometimes you just need to go to Target. So Target is in the top tier right now of fashion of where I've been shopping the most is definitely been Target. So moving on to some trends for the fall and just kind of like basics that you need in your closet. I have been obsessed with belts lately. So this is a belt that I got from Michael Kors. It is just an MK black belt it says mk around it and then it has the silver hardware i got this you guys at burlington for 19 dollars. like 19 dollars for a michael kors belt is a steal it's super cute they also had it in a brown and gold and i just think belts really help kind of cinch your waist and give you just kind of a classic look it just kind of elevates your look a little bit so you can throw on a t-shirt and some jeans and a belt and a pair of booties and a nice leather jacket and you're good to go and i think you just look really chic and just polished just it just slightly elevates your look so I really like belts and I've been loving this belt a lot and this one actually comes in plus so if you um, need a plus size belt this I got in a 1x you can definitely check out Michael Kors because they do have a plus for their belts okay moving on to my next obsession that I've been loving lately is hats so this is a conductor-esque hat I showed you guys this in my fall haul I've been loving hats lately I've just become a hat person I've been taking pictures in hats I just I love the hats they're just so cute like how cute is this hat it's so cute I've been loving hats lately I have just been loving hats and this one I got from H&M and it was like $17 I've seen some at Target um, I've seen them kind of everywhere so definitely check out uh, these conductor s cats I don't know if they're called conductor hats but I'm calling them conductor hats they're really cute and I love them and they're super trendy right now the next hat I want to show you guys is this like brimmed hat it has the kind of buckle detailing here you kind of wear it a little bit back like this this reminds me of old school Demi Lovato days. I love this hat. It is so cute. I bought this hat. It was like $16 on Amazon. It's super, super cute. I just love these hats that kind of fall off like a little bit like this. I don't know. It's just really edgy and I'm loving hats and I can't get enough and I'm obsessed. I just, I love hats. So the next item that I want to talk about that I've been loving and wearing so much that you guys have been seeing on my Instagram a lot. If you guys don't follow me on Instagram, it will be annotated here or it will be in the description box as well. So these are the jeans. They're just your basic black high-waisted jeans. They have a lot of distressing all the way down the legs. Like I said, I will show a picture here for you guys to see what they actually look like because it's kind of hard to see the rips right now. But these are in a size 1X. They're my favorite pair of jeans from Fashion Nova. I'm obsessed with them and I wear them any chance I get. Like they're my favorite. This with the black Michael Kors belt and a hat and a leather jacket and I'm, that's that's my go-to look lately. I'm obsessed. Okay, and then the last item, which isn't necessarily a fashion item, but it, I'm just going to include it here because why not? Um, so lately I've been getting back into working out and eating healthy, so I went on Amazon to buy some type of like sweatband or like sauna suit thing. I don't really know what you want to call it. So I came across this one from the brand Yan Yana? Yana? I'm not exactly sure how you say it. So it is just this sweatband here, and you zip it up. At the top here, it zips, and then at the bottom, it has the Velcro that you wrap around, and it just really holds you in when working out. It gives you great back support, because um, sometimes when I'm on treadmills or the bikes, my back will hurt, so this gives me really good back support, as well as the amount of sweat that you sweat when you're working out and wearing this is ridiculous. Like, I can work out for, like, 30 minutes on the treadmill, and I will be dripping sweat underneath, like, underneath this, I'll be sweating, and then just, like, down my neck, my head, like, everything is literally sweating. So, um, if you are in the market for, like, trying to find something to wear, like, a sauna suit or something like that at the gym, or you just want to get something that's going to hold you in, give you some support while working out, um, I definitely recommend this, and like I said... It will be linked down below. Okay, so the last category that I want to do is kind of like pop culture, TV, movies, music, anything like that. So lately I have been really obsessed with Ariana Grande. I've just been listening to her Thank You Next song over and over and over and over and over and over and over again because I love it so much. And um, I've been listening to her new album a lot. I just love her music and I kind of am thinking about going to see her when she comes to Chicago in April. So, um, yeah, I've just been loving Ariana Grande's music. It is so 
so good. So another thing that I've been really into lately is podcasts. I've been love listening to podcasts at work. I love listening to them. So if you guys have some podcasts that you guys like, leave them down below. Some of my favorites right now are Chicks in the Office. They do kind of like pop culture stuff. I love them. I think they're adorable. Um, I also have been listening to the Almost Famous podcast with Ben Higgins and Ashley I from The Bachelor. And then I've also been listening to obviously Views with David Dobrik and Jason Nash. And I've also been listening to Andy Cohen's like live, it's like Watch What Happens Live, but they have it like podcast form. So I can, you know, catch up if I miss Watch What Happens Live at night. So I've been listening to those podcasts or some of my favorite ones to listen to. Definitely my number one though pick lately has been Chicks in the Office. So as we go for movies, because I have to, when I'm obsessed with something, I have to share it on all my social media platforms, Twitter, Instagram, Snapchat, everything. If you've been following me on Twitter, if you've been following me on Instagram or Snapchat, following me there, you guys would know how much I been obsessed with the movie to all the boys I've loved before I know that it came out in like August or September I'm a little late I know it's November basically December and I'm just not watching it I watched it last Friday for the first time my heart literally melted just melted away with Peter Kavinsky out there searching for Peter Kavinsky aka searching for Noah Centineo I am obsessed I literally am in love with that movie it's so good I actually just got the book from the library so that I can read the book because it's actually a book series so I'm gonna start getting into that I want to get into reading more so if you guys have reading recommendations leave them down below I love seeing what kind of books you guys like reading um and I just want to find a good book but yeah so I've been watching to all the boys I love before like a million times I've literally watched it probably five times now so the obsession is real, the love for Noah Centineo is real, it's just, it's becoming an obsession. Wow, I think that's it. So that completes all of my current favorites right now. There was kind of a lot of stuff, but I wanted to cover and break it up into categories. Let me know if you guys like when they're broken up into categories or if you like them to all just be just makeup or just fashion. Let me know. I can do just fashion favorites or stuff like that. So yeah, in the comments below, let me know what are some of your favorites this month. Anything from fashion, music, pop culture, makeup, hair, anything. Let me know down below in the comments. I'd love to hear what some of your favorites are right now. And that is pretty much it. Make sure that you guys follow me on Twitter, Instagram, and Snapchat. If you're not already subscribed to my channel, make sure you subscribe. And I will see all of your beautiful faces in my next video. Bye, guys. Wherever I go, you're the one I give my devotion Your love is great